everyone and welcome back to another bullet journal video on my channel. If you're new here, my name is Caitlin. Today we are diving into a bullet journal plan with me for the month of March because March is almost going to become a thing. We are close, February is ending and thus March planning must begin. So as always, I'm gonna get started with my month at a glance. So let's get going. I'm trying bubble letters for the first time. So if this looks horrible, we're just gonna go with it. Well, I have to admit that's not the worst thing I've ever drawn in this journal, so I'm pretty happy with that. Now I'm gonna proceed with my calendar. There's my month at a glance. I wanted to have a little bit more fun with it and make it look like I pinned a sheet of paper on the wall or something. So that's why I freehanded the lines for this, I guess, piece of paper. And I purposely like kind of curved them in so it didn't look perfect. Moving on to the monthly tracker. So if you're a regular watcher of my plan with me's then you know that this month I am significantly shortening the amount of items I am tracking because March is a super busy month for me. I have so many school assignments assignments um, and tests midterms coming up before I have my finals in April so I just thought Caitlin let's make this easy on your future self and not make it impossible to keep up with your planner because I'm definitely going to need it to stay sane while I'm in my busy season. I have a little space down here so instead of adding a doodle I think we're going to add like some sort of motivational quote and there it is luck is just preparation meeting opportunity. I like this quote because I think it's very theme appropriate for March because of the emphasis on luck and I also think it's a really good phrase to be reminded of every single day because the tracker is something I visit every single day. On the right page I'm gonna actually do something different. Uh, it's going to be a personal green smoothie challenge tracker because I am challenging myself this month to drink a green smoothie uh, every single day in the spirit of March because it's a green smoothie. Having a green smoothie daily was also a big 2017 goal of mine and I've been kind of slacking so I feel like we need to emphasize this right at the beginning of the year to put me on track for success for the following months. Why are they cups? Because I'm doing a smoothie challenge in March. How did you draw everyone the exact same? Magic! <laughs> As you can see, I set up my green smoothie challenge by drawing a ton of cups. 31 cups to be exact, one cup per day, and I will color each green cup in. I'll color each cup in green uh, every time I have a smoothie, so hopefully all of these little guys will be colored in. And at the bottom here, I just have some signs related to some green things. Uh, green ingredients that you'd put in a green smoothie. So spinach is your friend, kale, ling it, ha 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 ha, so funny. And don't beat yourself up. To be honest, I don't think I'd ever put a beet in a green smoothie. I'm not a huge fan of beets, but I really like this pun. <laughs> On to the next page where I'm going to do a spending log because March, again, is all about green. And what's more green than that money, though, huh? Oh, oh my goodness. I question sometimes why you guys watch me. My apologies if there was a severe quality draw. Both batteries for my DSLR died, so here we are. Filming on my vlog camera. There is my spending log. Not sure what happened over here with my Tombow, but the process for this spending log is pretty simple. You write it down, you accept the purchase, you regret the purchase, and then you repeat the process. I did two columns to keep it simple, so here I'll write what the item is, and in the column to the right, I'll write the amount that it costs. Very scary page. I never end up liking this page at the end of the month. The page I've already started right now is my exam schedule because I just got it a few days ago. Um, I also put in brackets here, don't panic, because that's pretty much what I first did when I saw my exam schedule was panic. <laughs> top we've got my exam schedule. My five exams for April are listed there. I thought it'd be a really good idea to get it on paper even though these are happening in April just so I kind of know in advance what's going down, what deadly thing is happening. I have a little spot here for a to-do list for anything that I need to do related to these ex exams. And then down here I just have my recipe for success when it comes to exams which is caffeinate yourself and then study. Some little confetti here. You could also do like a little shamrock confettis if you wanted to but I was not thinking that creatively when I was doing this and the last two pages are going to be my weekly spread I 
and voila there's my weekly spread I kind of went for that whole pinning something on the wall look again and I have obviously seven boxes for each day of the week that is all I have for this month's plan with me I apologize for the camera issues we ran into but you know that stuff sometimes happens. We just gotta go with the flow. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to be sending me pictures of any bullet journal spreads that you do um, on social media. I've rebranded myself, so you can actually now find me, find me on Twitter and Facebook at Caitlin M. DeSilva and on Instagram at Caitlin Marie DeSilva. I will see you all very soon with a new video. And until then, bye everyone.